The following is a paid program. Opinions and views expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the station. The Beaten Path is brought to you by Tellwater Lodge, Altmyer, New York, Lee Buick and GMC of Boomville, New York, PSC Archery, New York State Big Buck Club, Heart Rifle Barrels, Majestic Mounts by Rob Kamenoff, Taxidermy, Marcy, New York. Lavel Sport and Farm Equipment, your local Honda dealer, www.lavelsport.com. Ripcord Arrowrest, Black Gold Premium Bow Sights, and Otis Technology. Bettis Game Calls, Covert Scouting Cameras, and Whitetail Institute. Slay, Odor Neutralizer, and Ramcap Broadheads. Closed captioning is brought to you by Oneida Electrical Contractors. We head down to Madison County, New York with Off the Beaten Path Pro Staffer Shane Correct. Now these guys love their deer hunting. From putting in food plots to getting in the woods and pursuing the game, these guys are all about it.
Let your hunt begin with the family dealership of Lee, Buick, and GMC of Boonville, New York, where you always deal with an owner. Boulevard Trailers is your New York RV dealer for quality new and used RVs. With over 50 years of experience in the RV industry, you can rest assured that at Boulevard Trailers, you'll receive the most knowledgeable and trustworthy information for all your sales and service needs. That's why we're the Tri-County's largest RV dealer. Visit our website and browse through the showroom of vehicles and accessories we have to offer. Boulevard Trailers to Oriskany Boulevard, Whitesboro. For all your commercial electrical needs, look at Oneida Electrical Contractors. The NECA IBEW crew stands first with safety and gets the job right and done in time. But when the job is done, they like to head straight for the outdoors and get in some fun. So when it's time for electrical needs, give them a call. Oneida Electrical Contractors, 5630 Horatio Street, Utica, New York. OneidaElectric.com Honda has the best-selling ATV lineup in America. That includes the Wide Open America, the Rocky America, and the America that's got a job to do. Add in our full line of Pioneer side-by-sides, and Honda has an off-road vehicle perfect for that most important corner of America, yours. Get low fixed APR financing and bonus bucks during the Honda ATV clearance event going on now. Lowville Sport and Farm Equipment, East Martinsburg Road, Lowville. Visit them on the web, lowvillesport.com.
The Big Buck Profile is brought to you by the New York State Big Buck Club. All right, here we are with Austin. This is an amazing New York State buck. This is the number one typical deer shot in 2014 in New York State. Austin, congratulations. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the deer. What, uh, what county were you in? Um, Ontario County. Ontario County? Yeah. Bow or gun? Gun. Gun. Beautiful. Um, what, what was the score? Uh, 176 net. 176 net in New York. That's, that's what we want to see, some more of that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful job. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Have you been lucky enough to harvest a big whitetail or big bear in New York State? Then you need to look at the New York State Big Buck Club, the official record book for New York State's biggest and best whitetails and New York State trophy record bears. Log on to the website where you can locate your local measurer, order record books, and then swing over their Facebook page where you can locate past stories on previous hunts. So log on to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com. When performance counts, count on Heart Rifle Barrels. HeartBarrels.com If you're looking for a four-season tractor, the New Holland Compact Tractor is the one for you. It has attachments like front-end loaders to move dirt or snow, brush hogs, finishing mowers, and even snow blowers. New Holland Compact Tractor is the ultimate farmhand, landscape assistant, and taskmaster. Built tough. Its exceptional power, maneuverability, and ease of operation make it ideal for homeowners and part-time farmers. To see the complete line of New Holland tractors, visit your New Holland leader in service. Clinton Tractor today.
Well, it's October 5th and we got a big buck down. <clears throat> we got set up in the stand this morning, first thing. I just got my bow hung up and sat down. Steven got the camera turned on, and all adjusted, and he hollered that there's a big shooter walking right up the creek to us. I turned and looked behind me and we saw the big nine point come walking right up. I grabbed my bow, leaned way out and around the tree, <clears throat> and hammered him right through that front shoulder. The buck ran about 40 yards and dropped. We actually watched him drop from the tree. It is one of the big nine points that we called one of the three stooges. There were three bucks that were all real similar. We watched all summer. Had a bunch of trail camera pictures, but we haven't had a picture since the first week of August. So it's almost two months. Um, we were hunting a real big wide eight point um, that we've seen actually three different times since opening day. And when this buck came in, I just couldn't pass him up. He's a big three year old, real heavy, nice buck. Let's go find him. a big loop and die right next to the boat trail. Can't beat that. Well, here he is. One of the three stooges hit the ground this morning. This big old nine point came in about five minutes after we were in the stand. We barely had everything turned on. I didn't even have an arrow knocked. We saw him for about 10 seconds. He came right to us. I grabbed the PSC decree, let an arrow fly, and hammered him right through that front shoulder. He went about 40 yards, came up here, and died right on the four-wheeler trail. I'm pretty happy with him. It wasn't the buck we were in here hunting with. Uh, we were actually after a big wide eight point that we've seen three of the last five mornings. Uh, but I just couldn't pass this guy up. We haven't had a picture of him since the first week of August. And he's a pretty good buck for here. I'm happy with him. TRB's Guns, trbsguns.com, Rumson, New York. Independent tests confirm that the pins on a black gold are 20% brighter than the next brightest bosite. So bright that we had to use photochromatic technology to dim the pins in bright light. In low light, while the pins on other bosites are growing dim, the pins on a black gold site are still perfectly bright. Be the last one out of the woods at night. Get a black gold site. Honda has the best-selling ATV lineup in America. That includes the Wide Open America, the Rocky America, and the America that's got a job to do. Add in our full line of Pioneer side-by-sides, and Honda has an off-road vehicle perfect for that most important corner of America, yours. Get low fixed APR financing and bonus bucks during the Honda ATV clearance event going on now. Lowville Sport and Farm Equipment, East Martinsburg Road, Lowville. Visit them on the web, lowvillesport.com. Bow hunting requires getting in close, and controlling human scent can often be the difference between success yeah. or failure. So don't cover human odor, eliminate it with Slay. Slay's scientific formula kills the bacteria that causes odor and keeps working all hunt long. This new Slay Proline kit comes with everything you need to neutralize and eliminate human odor. Log on to slaythegame.com now and learn how Slay can get you back in the game. So don't cover human odor, eliminate it with Slay. Well, that was just crazy. We just had a coyote come in on her right here. I was just kind of doing the morning and 
uh, intro just kind of letting you know what was going on and this coyote came in. I could have got a shot at it right here, but by the time I saw it and had my bow in my hand, it was just not enough time. So, crazy morning so far. Seen a big buck. We've seen a coyote, so definitely the game are on their feet this morning, so we're going to see what happens. As you can see from the video there, I mean, I buried the arrow right up to the fletches, so all the, the only thing sticking out was a nocturnal. I found my arrow just on the other side of this little barbed wire fence. Uh, both ends are broke off, and that's where I start getting a lot of good blood. Um, I'm not going to pursue any more. Shot looks just a smidgen high. Um, not terrible though. I'm I'm pretty sure we got a dead deer on our hands. I mean, he just come out of there. I mean, I wish I could have aimed just a little bit lower, um, but I got pretty good faith in my setup, broadheads, arrows, uh, the shot placement. Um, we're gonna wait for Terry and Mike to get over here before we go up and uh, and really start pushing, looking for the deer. So we're gonna give it some time, anyways. Um, like I say, I mean, I know the shot's good. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to walk up on a real nice box. So. so it's our first morning sit in Kansas, the 2015 bow season, and so far this is my biggest buck with a bow to date. Um, we got pretty good penetration with the arrow. We didn't get a complete pass through, so there wasn't much of a blood trail, but I just knew where he went and just kind of kept following hoof tracks and we ended up stumbling upon him. So. It's a big husky 11 pointer. We got done first morning in Kansas. Cooking with Chef John Granger is brought to you by Tailwater Lodge. Hello, welcome back to the Tailwater Lodge. I'm Chef John. Today we have a beautiful venison loin we're going to cook. And as with any high-end piece of meat, you don't really want to, you know, put a bunch of stuff on it and mask the flavor. It really needs to shine. So people always ask me, well, what's the best thing to do with the steak? Just put salt and pepper on it and don't over-season it, or don't overcook it. No, that's basically it. So I'll put a sauce with this, something on the bottom, but the piece of meat's going to stand on its own. So if you want the sauce or the meat, you have your choice. So that's the idea with this. This, this loin is gorgeous. So I always salt and pepper things. And I'm just going to give it a nice sear. That holds the juices in. And it gives it a nice crust on the outside as well. You always want to hear that sound. That means you're doing something right. So you want it to caramelize on the outside, but not too dark. You know, just kind of a a medium brown. So once I have this all seared, I just take it over here, I'll put it on the cutting board and let it rest. It's about two or three minutes on each side. Now, now I have the flavor of that venison I don't want to lose in there. So I'll put the little shallots in there. Shallots are great because they're a combination flavor of garlic and onion, which you really always want some kind of aromatic in the sauce, especially one where you do it like sweet and savory like I have here. You just cut the color about half down and we'll try to start to look translucent like on these two. We're just going to do a little red wine glaze. This is some local Finger Lakes red wine from Lamarill Landing. Whenever you're putting alcohol in a pan, always move it away from the, away from the flame. Just in case the flame's up, you don't want to go back in the bottle or can you. While that's reducing, I have some dried cherries. These go great with because they have a little tartness, just like the wine, so it brings acidity, sweetness to the dish. So again, I'll put these in here so that they're 
Controlling human scent can often be the difference between yeah. success and failure. This new Slate Pro-Line kit comes with everything you need to neutralize and eliminate human odor. So don't cover human odor. Eliminate it with Slate. 